Okay, so this is going to be how to use Excel when you're graphing oral one compartment models. This is very similar to IV two compartment models with one little change that I'll explain when we get to it. So as always, you want we have our time and our concentration values that we got. And so we want to find the LN of these values. It's the natural log. We're going to say this is equal to LN parentheses, select the corresponding concentration, close the parentheses, and enter. Alright, then we can click on this cell, get right here in the corner, and drag this all the way down. And as I've shown over and over, you want to just select the time column, hold down control or command, and select this LN column. And then you can go to insert, and once again, that's a scatter graph. Okay. So like we've seen, this is the absorption phase, this initial rise, and then this is the elimination phase, the slow decline. Okay, we can go ahead and add our trend line, linear still, and we want to display the equation and the R squared value. So just like with IV2 compartment, we want to start with the elimination phase first. And when we do that, we want to get an R squared value that is as close to one as possible with as many of the points on the line as possible. So we have our data here. We want to start with the bottom part. And we can see here that this has an R squared value of one. That's great. All right. So can we include more points? You know, we want to have as many on here as we can. We can go up one more. Again, R squared value is still one. Go up one more time. We start to deviate a little bit, so we can just go back down and deal with these points. So with oral, we have A is one of our variables in the equation when we're dealing with concentration. The A value is simply just the y-intercept, just like how we've dealt with A value, B value, CP naught. It's all basically the same as this y-intercept value, So that's, but it's not that directly we have to raise that to E, E raised to that number. Well, to do that in Excel, we just say equals EXP parentheses and type in the number. So 1.7097, close the parentheses and enter. So this value here is the same value you would get if you did it on your calculator and you just said E raised to 1.7097. Same value, just I'm doing it here in Excel. And then we're dealing with the elimination phase here and so we're dealing with K and this is just equal to this first number without the sign so it's 0 0.1994 it's the slope okay so just as a refresher this is the equation when we're dealing with concentration in an oral one compartment model and we can distribute this A to both of these sets of parentheses and we can see that this is just the elimination phase and this is just the absorption phase. So with these values that we just got, we're dealing with the elimination phase. So we want to use this here, which is concentration weight, elimination phase, all means the same thing. So we can say equals the A value, which is 5.527 times E. So we're going to do EXP going to open a parentheses, negative, whatever the K value is, that's 0 0.1994 times the corresponding time value. So we want to actually select this cell. All right, we're going to close the parentheses and press enter. All right, and we don't want, we only want it for the points that we didn't graph here. So that's just at this point. We're going to click the cell and drag this formula down. All right. So this is where the oral one compartment differs from the IV2 compartment. When we did the IV2 compartment, we subtracted the elimination phase here from the original concentration. Now we're going to be doing it the other way around. We're going to subtract the elimination phase concentration from the original concentration. So this is going to be equals to this cell minus this cell. And we want to make sure that we select the cells. That way, whenever we copy the formula down, it keeps going down the rows. 
press enter, then click and copy the formula down. All right, and then once again, we want to find the ln of this new residual concentration value. So it's going to be equals to ln, parentheses, select the value, close the parentheses, press enter, and yes, copy the formula down. All right, and then just as I've shown over and over again, you're going to select these time values, hold down control or command, and select these new ln values. I'm going to go to insert and we want to do another scatter graph. All right, I can go ahead and add a chart element, my trend line, linear, and display the equation and the r squared value. All right, so from here, we should see that these two n values for a should be pretty similar, and they are. So like if you found the e to this number, it should be just about the same as this a value here. And we can check that and we can say that this is equal to exp parentheses and our number 1.7416. Close the parentheses and press enter. And they're pretty much the same. And so if we want to get an actual a value to use, we can just take the average of these two. So we could say equals this value plus this value and divide it by two. There we go. Simple as that. Okay. And for this one, for this first graph, we use the elimination phase. This one is telling us the residuals according to the absorption phase. So this means that this first value is the Ka, not Kel. And again, we don't use the signs. So that's 2.0709. And so now we have an A value, a K value, and a Ka value, meaning we can use these to do any of the math equations that we need to when we're solving oral one compartment model problems.